gent and welcome back to the channel. <coughs> Excuse me, Emily. Um recording this video. I'm very I'm just very tired to be honest, but I am tired of Celtic, I thought it was over. The saga of Lennon just gone now, just moving on and supposed to call glue. We have need a conversation for you apparently. Uh, I thought we just moved on from all that talk of just hinting bad just about Celtic, just move on, can we just move on? But no, um, Lennon has to come out of an interview. Where do we even begin with this Lennon interview? The labour of a new breed that care for the best and just the, the new breed that care for the, the best and, su and sustainability of the club. They clearly care for 10 in a row or even the flexible tactics that make him sound like a football genius. Genuinely, I've used one of Neil Lennon's famous words in an interview, bewildered, there you go. Um, that is what we're going to be talking today, guys, in this video. Neil Lennon blasts Celtic fans giving the club a bad name as he insists he is no managerial dinosaur. The Irishman admits he was hurt by the furious scenes with a accompanied <coughs> the death of 10 year old Dream. Um, the former Celtic manager Neil Lennon admits his final season was joy joyless as he hit out at a new breed of fan who protested furiously. I mean, what's this story about new breed? Everybody who was a Celtic fan knew he was not, he, he, was not, he, he wasn't in the right mindset. He had to go back in December. Even, you know, he could even go back in November. He had to go in November. And we protested for a reason. There was worse protests down in England, Man United fans. I'm just using an example. The Super League, right? The protest is worse than ours. But we get hit out by media and saying, oh, it's worse than, oh, you know what I mean? But we made a point that Neil Lennon was, wasn't wasn't getting it anymore. He wasn't he wasn't the right man to take it, uh, to manage Celtic now, at that moment in November. But, I mean, I mean, you could say the, the pressure of Tenero got to his head, but the way he, he, didn't, he couldn't care about Tenero, uh, as I said there. He could not care. The, pre the season started with the Parkhead Club going for 10 Premiership titles in a row, but the season quickly went off the rails, literally. Celtic's domestic dominance was ended by a meek League Cup defeat to Ross County, sparking angry, as I said, protests at the stadium. Lennon made in manager until February, but walked away after another defeat to the Staggies, and Rangers officially wrapped up the title just weeks later. Then, Things just turned quickly uh, toxic by the end of the Irishman's tenure and he admits being hurt and confused by support anchor. What? Lennon told the, the media speaking to the pl the players the next day after the League Cup lost they were very disturbed and upset by that. But we, we were making a fair point that we get beat up for Ross County at home for starters in the League Cup at home. I mean, come on. Literally upset, he said, literally upset it by it. Um, that was the first cup defeat in 35 out of 36 games. It was the end of an unbelievable cycle of success and for them to be treated that way was bewildering. Another famous Lennon word, bewildering. bewildering. Uh, this interview is just, oh Jesus. Uh, they should have been lauded for it rather than a beaut. I mean, I mean, you know, get to the point where you should never be thrown whatever rocks or whatever at the players cars and all, no, no, no violence, but you can protest and you can st you can express your feelings, not just on obviously videos and a lot of people have it in podcasts and such as that, but this is where we express our feelings about Celtic at the moment uh, and you know how we feel because we can't do it at the park. See if Celtic fans are in the, the stadium this season, Lennon wouldn't have lasted long, this interview wouldn't have happened, we might have had a better season, but you know it's coming to this. Um, they were getting pelted with missiles. It was very sad. There were there were a new breed of supporters that I had nothing in common with, and who built the values of the club. They didn't build what? This is just this is just a, a no, this is a nonsense. This is a, a load of rubbish here, Lennon. But you're they were one. The they are the ones that are giving the club a bad name. Lennon was given the the only the only person that was given the club a bad name that that season there was Lennon. It was embarrassing defeats in the Europa League. We were, we were actually very unlucky. Uh, we were very lucky not to finish bottom of the um, not. We were bottom of the group, but we were uh, very un unlucky not to finish bottom of the. Who, uh, so many goals conceded against us. Two four-one defeats. It's bloody Sparta Prague. The first game at Celtic Park, they were playing bloody people at work. Then a second, you know, so it was a part-time job. I mean, come on. 
And I I will accept obviously AC Milan, but you were two not in in away to AC Milan. You were two not against Lull. Come on. Come on, like. It was definitely a situation like no other. You're going for the tenth title in a row and that was an obsession for the fans. An unhealthy obsession. What I felt. I don't believe I actually I I'm very shocked at Lotus Lens Senior. He says an obsession for the fans and an healthy obsession. That's a joke. You've been signing for years and years, like so under Ron Dyer left, when Ron Rogers going on and then Lennon came on. Singing it. We won the ninth title, but we're going for it one season, one more season. And we had to pick Lennon. Why? Just just why? Just <sighs> Um and we were in the midst of a pandemic. Oh, here we go, the pandemic excuse again. Of that where nothing was normal. I know nothing was normal, but you see Rangers, they weren't complaining. And was any other team in the Premiership complaining or any other team? No. Just Celtic, because that's the Celtic way for Lenny. Uh, so you put that together and there were a lot of things that were out of control as a manager. I had nothing in common with those supporters and they were treated, and they treated Dermot and Peter as well shocking. We just explained our points well. Uh, yesterday marked the 100 days since we Lenny left. No manager in, or we're in this post talks, but he's not official yet. So, considering December we had, this is all I'm talking, we had just finished off in our treble. That is last season's 2019-20 um, Scottish Cup, so it wasn't this season, so Lenny, you've not made a point there. Two months later, you're out of the door. The whole thing seemed joyless. There was no credit for it. It was just, it was just, um, yeah, Celtic, uh, Celtic have won another treble, move on. There was a lack of joy around the place. Yeah, because it was last season's Scottish Cup, it wasn't this season's. You get put out again. Well, you get put out of the League Cup, the other was that wasn't actually in charge when we get put out of the Scottish Cup, I don't want to go into that one again. You were in the game to enjoy it, well, it was an enjoy this season. It was all about the football, but this season, f football took second place to a lot of things. Um, I wouldn't say I was hurt, I was more bewildered, and I was like famously in mud by it, and the lack of time and the lack of faith um, that people showed in me. I mean, we gave you we gave you faith until things went wrong. That's how fans react. I mean, how can you? I don't know how you can say that, Lenny. I I I, I hold the Lenny face up. How you know what I mean? <laughs> it was basically fans. I'm referring to more than any. He's blaming the fans for him doing that wrecking this ten in a row season. That's a joke. That 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 is a joke. I mean, I'm reading here. It's basically that. It's basically fans I'm referring to more than anything else. If I was that guy on TikTok, my respect for Neil Lennon is going right, 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 right down to the bottom. There, there. He was a great player. And all you had to do was take it to the end of the season and point a great manager. You probably would have won 10 in a row. 9 in a row, then 10 in a row. You probably would. You probably would. But we had to point Lennon and the body showers. So. There you go, Celtic. It's not. I know it's not just Lennon and also the board appointing him, but the fact that he's blaming the fans for that season there is an absolute atrocious. It's a joke. It's an absolute joke. He says, I can walk away 21 medals as a player and a manager. The first guy to do the treble is a both a player and a manager. So that doesn't mean a lot to other people. It means a lot to me. I mean, that's a good, that's good, but what you've wrecked the season. You've wrecked your status as a great player then. You've wrecked that. You've destroyed it. Some have suggested that Lennon is the man out of time with old school me methods not suited to the modern game. But the Celtic legend insists nothing could be further from the truth as he offered a vigorous defence of his record. Lennon said people say he's not he's not that good or he's a, a dinosaur. A dinosaur at 49 is strange. 18 months ago I beat Lazio Rome, which is fair point, the first Celtic manager to do that. Um, I'm not saying the fair point is already we beat Celtic, Lazio twice. Uh, it was about changing public's perception but then again it's not really their perception that um, I want to change it. it it's the owner the chairman or the chief executive of the club does it great on me of course it does it's just absolute nonsense <laughs> I just want to treble so if I'm a dinosaur what does that make all the rest it's not like we played route one football well this season no, no tactics eh? no tactics no tactics at all we're flat okay this is a, that's a, that's a funny joke you'll, you'll kill yourself laughing watching reading this we were flexible with changes. We could, we could play a diamond or a back three or a four three three. And the young coaches like, 
John Kennedy, Damien Duff and Gavin Stratton. Right, Damien Duff, absolute legend. He was great last season. That's how we played perform well. I think. He really did. We got the results of grinding out with Damien Duff. But when we brought in bloody Gavin Stratton and, and we saw John Kennedy. Oh Jesus. Uh, he's Lennon said we were, we were very forward thinking. Oh god, our coaching methods were all geared on modern player. Oh Jesus. It was just a throwaway remark that it's just completely uh, untrue. Young dinosaur T Rex. I mean, it's a very good description for all of them. Um, Lennon, Kennedy, and um, Gavin Stratton. How on earth did Gavin Stratton get into Celtic? I have not a clue. I bet you Gordon Stratton went to Lennon. Can my son get a job? And Lennon goes, Aye. He needs a job because he's a, he needs a job. <laughs> and that's, there, look, that's 101 now, look, right there. Look at that. So, yesterday they put 100 days, and um, and it was Peter Lawwell with the, the no kind of thing in the middle, the zero, and it's Dermot Desmond's today because the way the club have treated us this season, not they've treated us more like customers than fans, and a stupid season ticket things with the the 50 pound vouchers and the and the they put out the, I mean I mean fair I mean fair play Adidas the kit is really nice but I mean <laughs> respect is just to move on from. The breakdown of Eddie Howe to Andrew Postecoglou, fair play him, hope he does well. But the fact that we've got from him, we've got all that, just move on, totally just move on from Eddie Howe, yep, yep, just totally move that way. See if, it, see if Eddie Howe, we talked to him on the Monday the 8th of April when I was talking about the, the guy, and um, talking about Eddie Howe in the, the video, guys, and they broke down the video, it'd be fair play on, on the Friday, sorry, on the Friday that uh, week. Fair play, alright, it doesn't want to come. But how does it take three months to tell you? That he's not coming. You should have said to him, I mean, you know, no, you could have come. Or no. You could have said, no, right then, and we could have moved on. To maybe, see if Ange Postecoglou was rumoured after that, maybe you've still got that rumour of, mm, don't know where it is, but then you would have time to get all this UEFA stuff done. Back in April. But it's, it's currently on recording video, it's the 5th of June. That's a joke. And now this Lennon interview, that's more of a joke. I mean, if you went in a, a, a stand-up comedy bar, a pub, you people would kill yourself laughing. They would kill yourself laughing at that, that interview. That's the third, the away kit there. It's really nice. Um, it's a really nice kit, though. It's really nice. But the fact that he said that... Um, let me try and find it. The fact that he said... that 10 in a row was an obsession for the fans, an unhealthy obsession. How? We signed it for years with great success, how can we not? How can we not hope for 10 in a row? Obviously it didn't happen this season, but how can you not? I mean, Rangers did it. Uh, Rangers never done 10 in a row, but they look, they never, uh, they look forward to maybe trying going for 10 in a row as the Celtic stopped it and Rangers stopped it this season. But fans can look forward to Think, think, you know, forward thinking and they're saying, oh, we could win 10 in a row or something like that. Oh, what, you know, why not? We were on a success. We were on a success. But Lennon comes out and says there's an unhealthy succession, which is very... Where's he getting that from? And he's coming out with these new breed of fans. I mean, what the, what the point? Every fan of Celtic was making a fair point about Lennon. He was out. Of, he was out, he, he lost. He lost the dressing room. He lost it at all. He lost it completely. He lost it. That 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 that's the main point of the video. He, he's absolutely lost it. He's not, not. He's not right in the head just now. And this and if you just, I'll read the, the read the title again. New Lennon blast said that fans giving the club a bad name. The only the, the only person that was giving the club a bad name that season there was New Lennon. The board. The board. Big. The board are right up there. Lennon. You're up there as well. So that that's it. that's what I'm trying to say in this video guys. So thanks for watching guys, subscribe and like and hopefully the next videos will be a bit more less um saga, like the less of the nonsense a Celtic, more the hope. <laughs> um until then guys, subscribe and like. Um peace.